we have sophomore students from the oral skill class at the Lao American College. My name is Ms. Pagodi Wansai. I'm here on this stage with my friends, Ms. Ms. Pagodi Sawat and Mr. Sitipon Kamlong Lai. Today, we would like to discuss about the dangerous struggle that the Earth's atmosphere carry on, called air pollution, which we all know is harmful our health, but we still ignoring it. I'm going to start with the outline. First, air pollution. Second, PM2.5. Third, causes of PM2.5. Fourth, effects of PM2.5. Fifth, prevention and control. Sixth, conclusion. And the last one is the recommendation. Let's get the show on the road. Air pollution. Do you know what the air pollution is? If you don't, let me tell you. Air pollution is the pollutant in the Earth's atmosphere, include physical, biological, and especially chemical. As you can see in two aspects of pictures here, shoot in the air or food for many factories, which can harmful your health and cause the PM2.5. Next. Let's looking at PM2.5. PM2.5 is a mix of the tiny particle in the air, which has the diameter less than 2.5 or about 3% of the human hair. Uh, that's all for me. Next, Miss Miss Pa going to tell you about the causes of PM2.5. Thank you, Spaudi. Now, let's continue our discussion of causes of PM2.5. Mentioning two causes, do you know what causes the PM2.5? No, no. If no, let me show you. Now, now I'm going to look at two aspects of anthropogenic sources and natural sources. For anthropogenic sources, it has the combustion of fossil fuels. It happened by burning garbage, leaves, or even tiles. Next, chemicals from the chemicals of the factories by doing laboratory or by releasing toxic fumes and sewage. And that's not the only reason that caused them to point by. It's also from the nature that we cannot stop it to happen. For example, volcanoes erupt and emit a mix of gases, or even the dust. And the fire forests and grassland fires. So all of those can cause PM2.5. Next. Let's talk about the effects of PM2.5. We can say that it's almost effective on human health. For instance, it can irritate your eyes, your nose, and your throat. And it can make your lung tissue inflamed or even decrease lung function. It can develop your of chronic Sorry, it can develop chronic lung disease and the premature death in people with heart and lung disease. And this also happened with children, such as a severity of asthma attacks in children and preterm birth or even low birth weight. So, if you cannot imagine it out, let me show you a picture. Like you see, that is PM2.5 and when you breathe, it will come, to, come into your nose and go immediately into your lungs. Because of its size, it can do that. And it also can cause your organ problems, especially with, with your lungs. So that's the end of my points here. My friend is going to tell you how we can prevent and control it. Thank you very much, Ms. Vincent.
All right. Now, let's look at two aspects of prevention and control. First, we'll look at prevention, and then we'll move on to look at control. Now, let's get started from prevention. At first, is using less vehicles. What I mean is, you must try to use less vehicles and change use more bicycle or bus to reduce releasing pollution into the air. And next is recycle. Recycle is reuse the things or garbage that you can bring it back to use to reduce percent of releasing burning or releasing carbon dioxide into the air. And that's all about prevention. Next, let's look at control. At first, it's wearing masks. Wearing masks can help you from breathing PM2.5 into your lungs. And next is avoid doing outside activities. Avoid doing outside activities that can affect the nature or affect our health. Now, let's move on to conclusion. For conclusion, I will sum up the information that we talk, already talked about. At first, air pollution. Air pollution is the mix of pollutant that is released into the air. And next is PM2.5. PM2.5 is the tiny particle that has size small than 2.5 micrometer and causes of PM2.5 is made of both human activities and natural activities and it affects directly to our lungs, our health, our eyes and our heart. And the last is prevention and control. Prevention, you have to use less vehicles and try to use more bicycle to save the air. And you must try to bring recycle away to save burning and releasing carbon dioxide into the air. And control, you must wear a mask when you go outside. This will save you from breathing PM2.5. And last, remember to avoid doing outside activities that affect the nature. And the last, I will give you some recommendations. At first, please, using this application and visual, it will help you check the information about PM2.5. And next, please only check the information from social media. It will help you that which day is safe or which day is danger for you. And the last is don't remember, sorry, don't forget to wear a mask outside. It will help you from breathing PM2.5. And the last, please remember, be a part of solution, not a part of pollution. Thank you for your attention. My quick question is, so can you repeat again what is the main causes of PM2.5 and how can we prevent ourselves from this PM2.5? Thank you. Thank you very much for your question. And for your question, the main causes of PM2.5 is made up from human activities. And how to prevent it? It's easy. You just you just try to reuse the thing that can burn and bring it back to use. And you must try to use that vehicles and change to use more bicycle. It can decrease releasing pollution into the air. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the answer. It's very wonderful.